Oh, look what's going on here. What are you two big boys doing? We're just sitting down. What do you got in your mouth? Freddy Rico, what did you do to it? You messed your ball up, dude. Yeah, that's oh. fine. It's still for him. It's just uh, living Jack's future here. Yeah. Toys. Yeah, he's already <laughs> taken over Jax's job. He runs out barking at people, acting like he's a mean dog. He's been a good guard dog. I don't know where it came from. It must be that Jack Jackson isn't here anymore. Well, usually when something goes, something's left behind. So it is. It's true. He's yeah. changed, man. Oh, okay, easy. Don't be letting him jump off there, you goofball. What up? Welcome back to another one. I've been saying that Gerald bought a lot of decoys. <laughs> If you watch the last pigeon hunt, he went through uh, at the end of the pigeon hunt, the long one, two manor. He explained what all he has going on in here. Right here and right here. Oh, these things don't mess around. Mm -hmm. Ready? Oh, there she goes. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. So there's that. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of inbox. We're definitely gonna have to wait until all the other boys get here <laughs> to, to, to do this. What do you got in here? Oh lord. Almost, almost full. <laughs> That's just. Oh, the socks. It is a. White suits. Oh, you. Oh, more white suits. Yeah, Thank you. Another turkey pack. These are socks. These are. Yeah, they're. Ten dozen in a box, so there's a hundred. We still have three hundred more coming. Oh my god, three hundred dozen more coming. And you bought how many full bodies again? Fifteen hundred? Uh, no, twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. And then the blinds. So there's just... a hundred and twenty <laughs> boxes to open <laughs> for full bodies. Today we're not opening them all. We are just oh, uh, no. we're just storing them in, in the container and locking them away. And then he bought what'd you do? Fifth, twenty of these? Twenty. 40? 40 rig them right, lay down blinds. They're the big ones, the X well, factors. We got, I was just going to do 10 of spread, but uh, we got some groups that are like 13 people. Yeah. And we're going to break some. So. Like you did buy a lot of blinds. Okay, long story short, Gerald will be running conservation hunts in Missouri and South Dakota. Um, one thing that I want you guys to know about it right off the get go. It is extremely affordable, and Gerald is finally living his dream. He, he's going after, he's chasing his dream just like I did uh, with YouTube years ago. Gerald was like, Bob, I think this year um, I want to do it on my own. It, not, We still do fall here, but conservation, he wants to do it on his own. Yeah, I've been doing it for a while, and uh, I said screw it. <laughs> well, last, last year was a good year to step out. Yeah, and you've been doing it for a while. If there's anyone due to do it by themselves. I've heard that before. I heard that years the ago. The word due. Yeah. Like, and anybody that mildly knows you knows that. Oh, yeah. You, you know, know. I, a lot of the guys that, you know, I've ran, which I loved where I worked before. That mm -hmm. was awesome. Yeah, Tracy's awesome. Yeah, he's a great guy. and It was all on good terms, nothing, nothing yeah. bad. But uh, a lot of those guys that I hunted followed, right. you know. Yeah, they were there for you anyway. Yeah. They, yep. You knew that they were gonna. They knew that you were gonna be their guide, no matter where they went. And they're awesome because we have, like, I go turkey hunting with some of them. You know, you normally I go to Florida with some of them, go fishing, stuff like that. So it's just kind of give and take kind of thing. Yeah, it's fun. First of all, if you, uh, I have had a lot of people ask me and and inquire, you know, fill out the inquire to book form, asking about conservation hunts. As of right now, I don't plan on me here in Kansas. We will not do any conservation hunting. We tried last year, it was a flop, the birds were already gone. Uh, we got another little swath of birds that would not have been enough anyways, and we had to cancel what we had booked as far as clients go. So, Gerald is doing very affordable hunts. Tell them what Missouri is first and then... Uh, so Missouri, the basically, you'll be able to hunt as many days as you want, but what we offer is three day packages, but there's not a limit on snow geese, so it's not like you can only kill three times your possession. You can hunt. A lot of people, some people are doing five days, you know, like a business week. Uh, it's 200 bucks a day. 
<clears throat> if you have a group of six, that's a private group. It's gonna we're gonna leave it small. If it's not a private group, it'll be no more than probably eight. Uh, South Dakota um, is the same thing. We're gonna have permanent spreads. I will have a spread in South Dakota that is mobile if we find feeds and stuff like that. Uh, one one spread is gonna be a big comfy pit blind. It's heated. We'll make breakfast every morning. Um, that's in Hecla, and the the lodging there is super nice and super affordable. And it's not a hotel. It's it's actually there's. I'll have to get if you if you contact me, I can send you the guy's number to book it. But you call him, the dates that you hunt, you show up the day before. Uh, it's super nice. It's literally just like the lodge. Like yeah, it's yeah. it's there. It's not as big, but it'll sleep like ten people, super comfy. Two people a room, five bedrooms, two bath, full kitchen, everything. Nice. The only thing they ask is whenever you walk in, take your boots off. That's <laughs> all they ask. Because yeah, it's that's a good hunting and lodge out, rule. And out there, it's. It's just straight mud, so yeah. wear waterproof boots and stuff. But. So is that going to be the same price as Missouri? Uh, more than likely, yes. Um, okay. If it's more, it's only going to be like 50 bucks more yeah. just because the pit and cooking and heating. Um, it's not like it's a lot, but when you run for 20 days straight heating a blind, it adds up a lot on propane. So Yes. So when he said 200 to 250 a day, that's per person. So very affordable hunting, uh, I would tell you. Um, going to be awesome. Gerald bought 15, 1200 brand new full bodies. Yep. Um, and then 4,000 brand new socks. So between the two to three spreads at any moment, they are going to be massive, brand new, extra white, crispy, and beautiful. Yeah. And this in stuff. Missouri, it's going to be one full body spread, the 1200 with like three, 400 socks for the tail. That way we just have to move the blinds and the socks around. Mm. Uh, South Dakota is going to kind of be all in. So it's going to be a big full body spread, 1,200 plus probably five, 600 socks. Jeez. And then we're just going to set one spread of roughly 4,000 socks in oh, the other field. Of just 4,000 socks and, you know, 10 rotaries and all kinds of flappers. <laughs> See, I want more... I'm going to go out with clones this year. We're going to get like 30 of them. Oh my God. Do you know that would look awesome? 30 clones just beaten. Oh yeah. Oh. We're going to have like 10 of them right front and center and then the other <laughs> ones just scattered around. <laughs> yeah. So first off, a lot of you probably already follow Gerald on Instagram, uh, Gerald underscore outdoors 316. You also follow him on the, he runs the snows page, Sand Hill Flyway Snows on Instagram as well. Those two accounts is probably the best and easiest way to just get a hold of you right away. Yeah, but like there's, I probably have more people that follow me on Facebook. Really? Um, I like Instagram better. I'm not a big fan of Facebook, but older guys don't like Instagram. No, they're, they don't. They're on Facebook, but so. I like it because of older reasons. Like there's a lot less drama what on Instagram and stuff. Do you have an email? It's too? just uh, sandhilljeffries at okay. gmail .com. I'll put that down here. You can also email him and you'll get directly to him really quickly. So. Yep. But on, on the Instagram pages, my cell phone number's on it. Text me, call me, yeah. whatever you want to do, whatever's easiest for you. I'm pretty flexible. We're stuck in the avalanche system <laughs> last year. <laughs> Those are the uh, laydown blinds that I bought last year, which don't hold a candle to the rigam rights. Those rigam rights are freaking oh, beautiful. I'm stoked. Oh, they're nice. <laughs> Brand new white decoys. 40. 40. Rig and right laid on blinds. And 4,000. Sucks. That's a lot. Are you going to help me unbox all these? Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to help through the whole thing? You're only going to help just a little bit and get bored. I'm going to help a little bit. Just a little bit? Yeah. So y'all were here last year when I bought um, all these off... Um, what did I get these? I think I got, yeah, I got these off Facebook Marketplace. And um, they're just old two-piecers. And uh, they're nice. They get the job done. But look at these. Beautiful decoy. So these are uh, SX decoys. Um, the reason Gerald bought them was because he had got to know the owner a little bit. And he gave him a really, really smoking deal. Um, check them out. They look really good. The blue looks really nice. Um, I believe these are darn near exact. They already, and they come with the tail loops, which is really nice. Um, they're pretty much an avian, it seems like. 
They seem really tough. Good paint jobs on them. It, it, it seemed like an avian as far as size, shape, function. Um, the motion cone, pretty much the same thing. But yeah, we have some work cut out. The entire container is full that way. The entire trailer is full. We are not unboxing all these today. It is way too hot. But big things happen in uh, here at Sand Hill in Kansas. And Sand Hill snows, like you, uh, like you heard Gerald describe. Um, he's finally going out there, uh, chasing his dream. And uh, no, I will not. I will not be on those hunts. I might be on one three-day trip in Missouri and one three-day trip with him um, in South Dakota. But I just can't leave my babies, my family, my wife uh, to leave the state. You know, wish I could do it, uh, but it would kill me. It would not be a comfortable situation being gone that long. But Gerald's in the perfect situation in his life, and he's gonna make it happen. I know he will. Y'all gotta go check it out. It's his first year. Go check it out. I would say um, you're going to be very, very delighted. And if you're the first ones to come this year, not only is it very affordable, but you'll have uh, opportunity to rebook and be first on the list for next season too. So I guarantee you, I guarantee you for the price and what you're providing. It's, it's a lot for a little. It's a lot for a little. It's a lot for a so, little. Yeah. But very affordable. If you are a fan and subscriber of the channel and you've been here through the last two seasons with me and Gerald, you've got to know him. Go support him. Take your dad. Take a group of six, group of two. He's like no group size. Lots of dates available, especially in South Dakota. Those hunts will fire up, uh, well, like February 20th time frame when you're going to start-ish in Missouri. Missouri's going to be February 20th through March 18th. And then we'll, that gives us roughly five to six days to pick up, fix everything, move to South Dakota. Set and then two you big spreads. Run and from March 25th is when we'll start in South Dakota. And then we'll go to, I'm only going to book to like the 8th or 9th and then kind of reevaluate from there, seeing yeah. depending on what the, I don't want to go too far past that because they boogied through pretty quick last year. Yeah, but the weather was crazy there. last year too. Mm -hmm. It was, it went from, zero degrees to 50 degrees and then it went for like a week of 60 mile an hour winds and snow yeah so pretty brutal south dakota is a crazy state that's <laughs> you can get caught in some crap your uh, uh, your spread might blow away it i might literally just be there covered was in there snow. were numerous times where we're sitting there hunting working birds and i'm like what was that and it's a decoy just 100 feet up in the air just keep going oh, 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 <laughs> right up there with the snow geese <laughs> <laughs> short video today Gerald's my brother and when you guys help support him you help support me and I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart uh, a lot of you have already booked with him and uh, it really just shows how big the Bobby guy the Bobby guy community has grown through duck hunting um, very proud of of what I've done the last five years of my life and a lot of you are like can't believe you you know you're not who you used to be on YouTube da 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 well it's times change youtube don't pay the bills and i gotta find we have to find ways to do that this is my job this is my career i don't want to go clock in somewhere and do something else i want to do this so i just want to say thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart it means so much to me when you support my friends and their businesses and uh you just show the support here like you always do you guys show out all the time we're going into the third year of uh sand hill being active you're number three, and it's looking great. Um, wanted to let you guys know, I don't know if the, this video will go up before that or not, but I am renovating the top of the guide shack, and it will be called the Duck Shack. You guys have probably already heard about it. The old boat, I know. I haven't done a video on the old boat yet. We will. This will be gone. Big living area, big flat screen. Renovating this hole upstairs. Uh, to suit uh, groups of six, groups of two, doesn't matter. Up to seven at most, but it'll it'll accept twos, threes, fours, five, six, whatever. Um, and it's a lot cheaper. I did this to allow you guys, more of you guys who want to come, be able to come. Because fuel's expensive, traveling, vacationing. Uh, this year is hard for everyone. So I'm hoping that it helps. It seems like it is. Um, 
if you're interested, you know what to do. Go to sandhillflyway.com. It's always linked down below. Fill out the booking form. Say you want to be in the duck shack. I'm also putting a whole row of lockers right here. So the package will include three meals a day, uh, three days of hunting, full lodging here. Uh, the same exact package as a lodge just back here. So we clean your birds. We make sure they're legal for you to cross state lines. But I really appreciate you guys being here. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope that you enjoy seeing our, uh, our story grow and, and just uh, keeping you guys here, you know, telling you everything that's going on. Gerald bought a lot of decoys. It's worth the trip. Get a hold of the man. You'll have fun with him in Missouri or South Dakota. But subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Pessimism. I've been keeping it on the deep.